After £112.8 million and a three and a half year transformation, the RSC reopened its doors in November 2010. The Royal Shakespeare Company began 50 years ago and can now look forward to two rebuilt theatres, a sightseeing tower and many new performances. I'm here today with Peter Wilson, the project director. How has the transformation changed the experience of the RSC? Well, it's changed it pretty totally, actually, in, in, um, in two major respects. I mean, the obvious one that everyone's come to know about is that, is that we changed the auditorium. So instead of the huge old cinema style auditorium with the massive distances to the back row where you could barely see the actors on the stage, we've now got this much more intimate space where the stage is in the, in the middle of, 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 the, of the seating and uh, no one is more than 15 metres from the action in the middle of the stage. So the whole experience of uh, visiting the, uh, the theatre, seeing the play is going to be completely different. How would you think the transformation does affect the local area? It certainly makes um, Stratford very different from any other small market town. And there are lots of market towns in the Midlands, but there are there are none quite like Stratford yeah. because of the connection with the theatre and Shakespeare. But people um, have habitually come and stayed here for uh, several days, and having a theatre that's capable of producing this diverse um, uh, collection of, of things to do over, over a short stay it makes a big difference to people wanting to stay here, so that's good for hotels, good for restaurants, good for local business generally. What do you think William Shakespeare would say about the new theatre? <laughs> well, we said we needed to have something that we could say about our relationship with uh, our house playwright, and right at the beginning we decided to say that we, what we wanted for our auditorium was that it would be something somewhere that uh, Shakespeare could recognise as, as, as a theatre. And although it doesn't try to be, it's not, it's not a replica of an Elizabethan theatre, it tries to capture the essential qualities of the closeness of um, actor and audience. Um, and um, of course he wouldn't have had lighting or power flying or any of those things, but. Um, uh, as um, uh, Michael Boyd, our artistic director, has said more than once, if he'd had them, he'd certainly have used them. <laughs> um, I quite like the new one, actually. I think it's a lot more touristy, so therefore we're going to get a lot of different people coming in and trying it out, which is going to be very different to the old They've lost the characteristics. They've made it too touristy. It hasn't got the feel of and the depth of the old theatre. I think it's lost its magic. So mixed views from the locals, but I'm sure Shakespeare will be proud his plays have lasted this long.